Export-Import Bank, the federal agency that loans foreign companies money to buy U.S. exports, faces an uphill battle for congressional renewal of its charter. In an exclusive interview with the Foundry, Congressman Jeb Henserling of Texas discusses the future of the 80-year-old agency and its impact on the United States economy. Congressman, thank you very much for sitting down with us. Let's talk about another issue that's coming before Congress. The XM Bank, Ex Export-Import Bank, is coming up for renewal again by Congress, a deadline of, of this September. What's your view on XM? It is a uh, bad idea. Uh, it always has been. Uh, XM, uh, regrettably, uh, is really in many face, in many respects, the face of uh, cronyism. Uh, it is where government um, bureaucrats come in and start to allocate credit, pick winners and losers. Um, you know, you either believe that free enterprise is a good thing or you don't believe free enterprise is a good thing. But they would come in and say, look, we're helping American businesses because if you take Boeing as an example, we're helping other businesses in other countries get the loan, get the money that they need to purchase products made by American companies. Isn't that a good thing if the money comes back and it has been coming back? Well, it is a good thing to help uh, American job creators. I, I would say, suggest we do that by a couple of different means. Number one, that we actually work to take down trade barriers. Uh, and so the uh, transatlantic trade and investment partnership uh, is something that we should be working on. Uh, frankly, doing something the House has tried to do in repealing Obamacare would make our businesses more competitive. Uh, with the exception of health, uh, and emergencies, frankly, putting on a regulatory freeze on the federal government would help make our businesses more competitive. Fundamentally, uh, reforming our tax code, uh, particularly our corporate tax rates, uh, which now are the highest in the industrialized world, if we bring down those tax rates and have a fair, flatter, simpler, more competitive tax code. How big of a threat is XM to well, the I think it's a, I think it is, is, is a big threat. It has had to have a, a, a bailout in the past. If it was a privately held bank, it could not have the portfolio that it currently has uh, because of its concentration levels. Uh, it doesn't uh, diversify its risk uh, as it should. But the main, you know, the main issue here, again, is why is it the role of government uh, in a free society to pick winners and losers? What they are doing is funding outfits like Solyndra. They had significantly helped fund Enron in some of their export uh, dealings. Again, it's the face of cronyism. This is an issue, and this is the final question, uh, that is going to be coming up as we head right into a midterm election period. Do you think this topic will play among voters? Will they understand well, that will be a debate so. that the people I, want to have? I think the American people increasingly think uh, that uh, there's one set of rules for people in Washington and there's another set of rules uh, for them. Uh, I think they are increasingly incensed um, that, uh, again, there's a Washington insider game uh, and then there's one that the rest of the American citizens uh, have to live under.